how fast every crop grows in Minecraft. This video is going to go through every crop in Minecraft, detailing the ideal conditions to grow it and how fast it takes to grow the crop. As usual, I'll have timestamps for each crop, but if you want a complete idea of how all the crops grow, you should watch the whole video. Just saying, how do crops grow? The random tick. The easiest way to describe what the random tick is, is when the block is updated in the game. When the crop receives this, it could advance one stage further depending on the crop. The random tick has a wide range in time. On average, it takes 68 seconds for a random tick to occur. However, and this is important, the random tick can vary a lot. It can be a few seconds or it can be over five minutes. This means that the time a crop takes can vary quite a bit even if they are next to each other. However, 68 seconds is an important important number to keep in mind for the random tick. Before we get started, I'm going to assume that you know that crops have to be hydrated and have a light level of 9 or above to grow the quickest. If the crop is different, I'll mention it when I'm talking about that crop. I'm also not mentioning bone meal, we're talking about how long the crops grow and if you leave them alone. Let's start with carrots, potatoes, and wheat. All these grow the same. These crops have 0 to 8 stages and can be harvested at the 8th stage. On average, it takes 10 minutes to 30 minutes minutes to grow to the final stage, but this may vary. 10 minutes is the best case scenario. Next is similar but a bit different which is beetroots. The difference with beetroots is that it has four stages. However, there's a one third chance it won't grow when it gets a random tick. On average, it takes about 10 to 20 minutes to grow to its final stage. It slightly grows faster than carrots, potatoes, and wheat, melons, and pumpkins. Both of these grow at the exact same way and are similar to other crops, but the stem is the big difference. Let's start with the stem of the pumpkins and melons. The stem has 8 stages. 0 to 7 doesn't produce any melons or pumpkins. When it reaches level 8, it'll produce a melon or pumpkin. It will take about 10 to 30 minutes to get to the 7th stage. For the pumpkin or melon to grow, the block next to the stem has to be free and has to be a block like grass, dirt, or coarse dirt. The melon or pumpkin will be attached to the stem and won't be able to grow another pumpkin or melon until it is mined or detached from the stem. With melon and pumpkin, it is more about how quickly you can remove them and have the stem keep growing. When it is removed, the stem will go back to level 7, so it will take one random tick to grow again. This is an average of 68 seconds, but can vary in time. Sugarcane and Cactus With sugarcane and cactus, they both grow to a height of 3 blocks tall. Both will grow in darkness, so you don't have to worry about light level. Cactuses will need to be planted on sand. Sugarcane has to be planted on grass, dirt, coarse dirt, rooted dirt, mycelium, sand, red sand, moss blocks, or mud. You have a lot of options. Sugarcane also needs to be next to water or a waterlogged block. Both cactus and sugarcane require 16 random ticks to grow one block. For both cactus and sugarcane, it takes 18 minutes for it to grow one block. Sweet berries. Sweet berries will have four stages. They require a light level of nine to grow. The sweet berries will take five to 10 minutes to grow to the fourth stage to be harvested. Next is bamboo. Bamboo can grow to be 12 to 16 blocks tall. Bamboo has to be planted on moss, grass, dirt, coarse dirt, rooted dirt, gravel, mycelium, podzel, sand, red sand, or mud. It will also need a light level of 9. The bamboo will grow one block on average every 204 seconds or three and a half minutes. Next is the glowberries and kelp which have similar growth mechanics. Kelp can be planted on a variety of blocks and has to be in a water source block to grow. Glowberries have to be planted on the bottom of a block. Both do not require a light level to grow. Both will have an age between 0 to 24 when planted and will keep growing until it reaches the age of 25. This means that both can grow between 2 to 26 blocks long. Both have a 14% chance when they receive a random tick, so it will take about 10 minutes to grow one block for both. There is a 1 in 9 chance that the cave vine will have a glowberry on it when it grows. Next is the nether wart. The nether wart has to be planted on soul sand. The nether wart has 4 stages. There is a 10% chance for it to grow when it receives one random tick. That would mean it takes about 11 to 35 minutes for the nether wart to grow to the fourth stage. Now one of the trickier ones is the chorus fruit. Grow the chorus flower, it has to be planted in the end stone blocks, plus it can grow in any dimension. 
It will grow regardless of light level. The chorus plant will grow every random tick until the chorus flower reaches an age of 5. It can grow into multiple branches and grow more chorus flowers. The chorus flower should grow every 68 seconds. The chorus plant can range from 5 to 22 blocks tall. The average chorus fruit can have 1 to 8 chorus flowers, but the average is 3.7 flowers. From the chorus plant, you can mine chorus fruit from the chorus plant blocks. Next is mushrooms. When a mushroom receives a random tick, there is a 4% chance for it to spread. Mushrooms can spread up to 5 blocks away. The location they have to spread has to be a valid location to place the mushrooms. The location is valid if the light level is below 13 or an empty block. In order to plant the mushrooms, they can't have direct sky access, so there has to be a block above them. It will only spread if there are fewer than 5 mushrooms within a 9 by 9 by 3 area. The light level will be ignored if the block is mycelium, podzol, or nylium. Next is the crimson and warped fungus. Crimson and warped fungus don't spread like mushrooms. They only generate by applying bone meal to nylium. The crimson nylium will be found in the crimson forest and the warped nylium will be found in the warped forest. Either nylium can produce both fungi but is more likely to generate the same type as the nylium. Last is the sea pickles. Sea pickles will not grow on their own. Sea pickles have to be placed on coral blocks which are found in the warm ocean and has to be underwater. Bone meal has to be applied to the sea pickles for them to grow. Four sea pickles can be in a single block in a colony. When you use the bone meal, this can increase the sea pickles in the colony or spread it to other coral blocks.